current one of the, one of the boys here. Current testimony. Go ahead. I want to say something here because I've been speaking out on this particular issue. Do these look like domestic terrorists to you? No. 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 Harry Reid, that this man who thinks that he has power beyond anything else, has turned around and classified these men and women and, woman, and those children and the and the bunnies out there. He's classified them in the same as the same type of people as the guy at Fort Hood who took out our people, as the, as the, as the boys who took out uh, our people at the, um, at the Boston Marathon. Actually, the gentleman at the Fort Hood, he was just a disgruntled employee. Oh, I know. That's right. I'm, I can't even take that. I am so irate about that particular situation because that man continued to get paid while he was on trial, while the families and the men and women who stand up for this country were begging for food. They're on food stamps. This is just absolutely wrong. And this man needs to be censored. And I want to know where our senator is. Right. Where Why is she so silent? With her, the one who's, who is, well, I'm sorry, but at least Jean Shaheen belongs in his caucus. She should be calling him out and saying, stop it, apologize, because these people are our citizens, and they should not be classified as terrorists. Now, the problem is, is that once they call him a them a terrorist, are they on a watch list somewhere? Are they going to be scrutinized? As Jerry said, are they going to be able to go and buy a firearm if they want to expand their collection? That's the question. And, our, and this could happen to every one of us. Now, Billy's situation is not the first. Let me tell you about David Parker, if you don't remember, back in Massachusetts. David Parker objected to what his child was being read the agenda that was going on in Massachusetts schools in 2005. This man went, scheduled a meeting with the superintendent, with the principal of the school, and sat down to talk to them. They had him arrested. He spent the night in jail. He and another set of uh, parents took this all the way to the Massachusetts Supreme Court, expended many, many of their own dollars and they, they did not get any relief. They basically said, you as parents, you who are responsible for the upbringing of your own children have no right to say what they're going to be taught. In Haven't you heard schools. it takes a village? <laughs> I've heard it takes a family to raise a country, and that is this country, and we can take it back, but we're only gonna take it back if we stand up and if we get behind other people who will stand up likewise. Now, I'm, I want to know, where are the other candidates that are running for this office that will stand up for you, the people? And they're not here. They're not out here saying, where is Jean Shaheen and where is Harry Reid and why is he not being censored? But we need your help and you can do this. We can still do this in a peaceable manner. That is the one thing that is so outstanding about what these men and women did. They went out, they stood up, they made their statements, but they didn't do it in a violent manner. There was not a shot fired, there was not spitting on any authority, there was respect that was uh, observed. So unless we get together, unless we stand united, as this young man said, divided we fall. And what we have done in this country is we have been divided because we're either conservative or we're liberal. We're either uh, white or we're black. We're either Asian or we're, we're Hispanic. That is a bunch of hogwash. We are Americans. Amen. American problem and unless we stand up 
and start putting people in uh, these offices, and I'm talking about whether it's the dog catcher or whether it's the president of the right, United yeah, States, we right. have to have people who have a, a moral fiber. They said when they founded this country, it was made for a moral and religious people. That's right. And we have to put God back in his place, and we have to stand up and put moral people, people who have a backbone, who will stand up against the bullies in Washington and push back. And that's the kind of government we need to have. So thank you very much. I, I have a couple things. I want to clarify something to you. Uh, I'm from Portland, Oregon, and your story was on my Facebook uh, news feed within about eight hours of it happening. So it was, I, I even brought it up, and then it was like, oh, we know that guy. It was like, whoa, that's cool. And then, and then uh, for anyone up here, but if you want to go, young lady, if you want to go to the next uh, school board meeting, I will accompany you, and I will make sure you feel safe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, 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 I no Making sure you feel safe. I've got verbal jousting skills. I've got <laughs> fighting skills. I will make sure you and your dad feel 100% uh, And I put a bandit on their ego. Yeah. <laughs> we, I will go with you to the next one. And I will, I will make sure yeah, she's safe. And then the whole thing about the domestic terrorist, I like to put a flip on that because Harry Reid, I call him a Democrat <laughs> terrorist. Okay, I mean, I'm not a domestic terrorist. These guys aren't. The people serving my country, my fellow you know, veterans, we're not domestic terrorists. But unfortunately, according to DHS, I am the, me coming back from Iraq, I am the number one <coughs> on their list of being a domestic terrorist, simply because I chose to serve my country. I chose to enlist in a time of war when we had two you know, battlefields going on, Iraq and Afghanistan. I chose to serve my country, and yet now I'm a domestic terrorist in their eyes. Well, thank you. One, question, one last question. Yeah, it, it's just a comment um, to your situation. I worked in public school for 22 years, and if you, as a parent or a grandparent, don't be afraid to, you know, as a grandparent to stick up, they truly don't think you know what they're, you're doing with your child. And those parents who have stood up and offered an alternative book for reading were criticized and ridiculed in the teacher's room over and over and over again. But it is the Newbery Award winners that they say are the greatest books ever for your young adults, they're trash. I used to go into the library and write down all the titles and the topic and send it down to my daughter who's raising our grandchildren, our, our granddaughter's getting ready to go into high school, and the first thing I did is look at this book, don't let this come across Madison's um, school reading list. But you've got to get in there, and when your kids get an assignment, get a hold of the book, read it. Because this stuff that they're putting forth is promoting page 313, <laughs> it's promoting anti-Christian values, it's promoting suicide, it's promoting um, all of this stuff under the guise of good literary writing. And it's garbage. I would, I would, I would like to. Uh, do some, I would like to do something that that I, that uh, I did. I know a lot of people weren't weren't used to doing it when we were in Bunkerville, but uh, since we're all home, and I know a lot of you have, have, have included us in your prayers, I'd like for us to all stand and take hands and and end this in a prayer. So you, any way we can get our hands together, let's do it. So just reach back and around, however you can. Put his hands in the back. An uncover, please. If you're under, if men are under a hat, pull your hat off. Thank you. Uh, you too, Matt. Uh, Father, uh, I just want to praise your name. Yes, Lord And glorify you, Father. Because that's really what it's all about. If we glorify you and we praise you, Father, that our hearts are right and we'll treat each other well. We pray, Father, that you give us discernment and understanding for your word and for your will. 
Yes, Lord. You shine that light, Father, so we know where to put our feet in that secure ground. Yes. That you use us for that light, Father. That you reflect that light off of us wherever we go, Father, that so those who see us will, will see you through us and through our actions and out of the words that come out of our mouth, Father, that, they'll, that people will know that right is right and that there is a wrong, that a gray area is evil, Father, that in fact that we must stand for you and glorify you because all things come from you. We praise you, Father. We thank you for this gathering. We thank yes. you for this, for Billy to have the strength and his daughter to have the strength to stand before those who would attack them and knowingly that they were standing in the lion's den. We thank you for all those who went to Bunkerville yes. and stood, Father, knowing that it may take their lives, but realizing that we're just visitors here, Father. This is temporary. You're eternal. Mm -hmm. And right is worth fighting for and it's worth dying for. You put us in the state, Father, that, uh, that uh, uh, General Stark said, live free or die, death is not the worst of evils, Father. And we recognize that. We truly recognize that. Because we, we have looked into the face of death, Father, and we've come back harmless thanks to you. Yes, you have protected us and kept us safe and answered our prayers and the prayers of many people around this country and around the world. And we just praise you, Father. We thank you and we ask that you shore us up and provide for our needs so that, in fact, we can help others. Yes, just Lord. use this as a tool, Father. Use this as your sword, as your tool to do whatever it is you would have us do. But please give the American people the strength <coughs> to stand for what they know in their hearts, that you, the things that you wrote on their hearts, Father, that are right, true, and just. Yes. And that we will not stand by and let our neighbors be assaulted or persecuted or name-called without us standing up and defending them, Father. Help us to defend those who, are, those who are too weak to defend themselves. Help us give courage to those who need courage. And we just thank you in your son Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen.